Okie dokie YouTube, and once again it's riding with more. Yep, we haven't been riding for a bit. <laughs> there's, there's a tale to tell there. Which we'll get to in a bit. Where am I going? I'm going to meet a couple of the Amigos at Rivington Barn. Angel Thrider and uh, Derek Kawasaki rides again, I think. Ah, oh, gets lost with him all. Adam's life riding, uh, he's not coming today. He had to go to the dentist yesterday and have all his teeth out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. He's, he's toothless. That's uh, Adam's life riding, all his teeth out. He'll get over it. So, yeah, where are we off to? Rivington Barn, so... Last time I went here I got lost. It's not, as you know, as I've put on the uh, vlog before, it's not my... Uh, it's never been one for my... It's pretty local to me, but it's uh, never been one of my own, purely, and you might uh, disagree with me here, but it's purely due to the lack of twisties. I know there are a few, don't get me wrong, but when you get up in Dales, at Lakes, there's a lot more up there, and, uh, and you can't take the long way to Rivington from my house, but I usually go down the motorway. Which is, uh, as you know, I don't like doing. It's pretty, pretty boring. So once I get to the top of this here road, I'll be uh, stop. I'll leave the camera on, but I'll be stopping narrating until I get off the motorway. Due to it not being one of my favourite type of roads, I, j I just can't do it. It's a, it's a means to the end, and that's what I use them for. As do me, most bikers. The weather today is uh, dry, it rained all day, it is a Saturday and I'll try and get this vlog on today uh, purely because of the lack of vlogs I've been putting up. Uh, welcome to all the new subscribers, you're welcome on this channel. Mainly about biking but uh, as we all know you can, you can <laughs> we can end up talking about out and often do. The roads are dry-ish, I have a new tyre on the front, so I'm particularly taking particular notice of that bad boy because I don't want to down. Uh, more on that to come when I get off the motorway, but uh, we're now entering the road, uh, your life in your hands for a few short miles. And uh, I'll be back shortly. Adios YouTube for the time being, adios. Okie dokie YouTube and welcome back. We're uh, past a nasty bit. Not right sure. It. Uh, I think it's fifty. Fifty. We're on the average uh, speed camera road, um, which none of us motorcyclists like. But I suppose it's been put here for some sort of reason. <laughs> Can't think what that is at the minute, but we're on it. I just don't like them bloody motorways. Anyhow, we're on it. Hopefully, uh, the brew shop will be open. If it didn't, we'll nip down to the cafe, you know, at one below barn. For them of you who know the area. There's another cafe lower down. Well, a, a cafe lower down, not another. A cafe lower down. And uh, due to the restrictions being lifted, 
we'll be able to get a brew. Right, down to nitty gritty. What have we been doing? Well, <laughs> there's a tale to tell. Yeah, um, I decided to wash the Africa twin on a wet day. Anyhow, I washed it. Bike were looking nice. I thought, yeah, I'll just take it out and dry it tyres. Bearing in mind, if you remember, I did go for a run, don't get me wrong, but I had new tyres on. Newish tyres. Sets off, I run about 40, and I hit, um, well, there are a series of grates, you know, the big iron grates in the road, and yes, the Africa Twin and I parted company. I went with a proper crack. This is a few weeks, a couple of weeks ago now, and uh, I've been struggling to get over it. Uh, knacking my ankle, I knew that straight away. My left hand, my sternum, my chest, my arms, my legs, my back. <laughs> In fact, it's fair to say there weren't much that weren't injured. I don't know if it's my age. 64. And off. Um, that you just don't uh, bounce back same. I don't know. Or, you know, I did actually hurt myself more than what I thought I did. But I knew about my ankle and my uh, left hand straight away. Um, I should have gone to hospital in hindsight. I haven't. A typical bloke. Uh, uh, two days later. As you know, I took a job on, uh, I went to work, and I worked on it all day, stupid, stupid, stupid. In between, I was resting it, and uh, we're going to work, and resting it, and going to work, and I worked, and uh, it's not, not been good. It is, does or does, feel like it's getting better, and it feels worse when I'm walking downhill. Today's the first time I've got my boot on. And it feels okay. The first, today, in fact, is the first time I've rode a bike since parting company. I've had a lot of offs, which I'm not proud of, in my ears. Um, I didn't go, whatever, this one wasn't my fault. If I'd have been given half a chance with the experience, even though I say it myself, with the experience I've got, I could have saved it. I wasn't giving off a chance. I was slapped down hard, and I mean hard. <laughs> uh, no chance whatsoever, just whoosh, gone. Threw me right off. Bike's okay. Uh, if I did, uh, engine guards had took a battery in, of course, which is what they meant to do. So if I want to, I'm taking them off. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to put any more on, I might just ride it as it is. We hate the guards, uh, Sprocket said I've got to get the guards, which I don't know, I'm in two minds at the minute, thinking about it. Um, I were going to park company with the Africa Twin, but I've decided against it. It's such a lovely bike, and it weren't the bike or my fault on this occasion, it was just the circumstances. Well, I suppose it were my fault, operator, I put it down to me. Uh, school by wet grid, wet tyres, new tyres, wet day, boom, recipe for disaster, end of. So yeah, take full responsibility in hindsight, suppose it were my fault. Um, nobody else about, no other car involved, no, 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 no nothing. It's just how it happened. A couple of guys give me a lift to pick it up. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Because <laughs> it's fair to say, <laughs> I was hobbling. <laughs> My uh, ankle swelled up like a bloody big balloon. <laughs> In fact, it was, you couldn't tell it was an ankle. <laughs> Went all different colours of shades and burned like hell at night sometimes. It has been doing, as I say, it's, uh, it's on the mend. But uh, at the beginning, it was burning like hell at night. 
Like it wrong fire. Mind you, I shouldn't have gone to work. Should not have gone to work, but I did, like a clown, like you do. Like I've never been one to let people down, so. And they were man down at work, you know, they needed staff, so I went in. Needless to say, I've had a discussion with the firm I was working with, and uh, we've had a bit of a coming to on days off. Uh, the days I was uh, promised to be given wasn't forthcoming and uh, the days I was given didn't suit at all uh, so I worked my notice and uh, we part the company so I'm now uh, back unemployed which is a pity really because I like the job there's no wrong with job job was all right it was just three days off even though I only worked two days, I wanted, and we agreed, albeit verbally, it weren't in writing. Monday and Saturday. Now, I know Saturday, you're thinking, oh, that won't suit me. And it wouldn't suit probably 99% of people, but it suited me. The idea were that Sprocket and I were getting caravan. I go into work Monday, I finish it all four. Sprocket to get out everything ready, I come home, we ditch up and bugger off on the Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, come back Friday, into work Saturday. Happy days. Sprocket take a mother out Sunday, and me out on my tool. Which suited me down to ground. Anyhow, I goes in like, and uh, the girl I'm working with, Mary, lovely lass, says, uh, your day's off of there, Steve. I said, it's Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday, for two weeks, and then Wednesday, Saturday. She said, yeah, that's right. I said, no, that's that's not right. I said, we didn't agree with that. Anyhow, there was no compromise. Uh, them's your days off. That's what you've been given. That's what you're doing. Uh, no discussion. End of. You know, but prior to that, we had a discuss, and she said that uh, Monday, Saturday were good. And then all of a sudden, I don't know. Sprocket said I were forced out, you know, they did it on purpose. I don't know why, because, uh, as I say, I did a good job. Well, I think I did a good job. S slow down, I'm doing 28. Unless you're that car behind. Uh, thought I were doing a good job, you know, I had no problems. I could do the job. And, uh, but anyhow, that's, that's, that's by the by. Whether I were forced out or I uh, jacked in his... Uh, Neither here nor there, I'm not working. And that's that. So, I'm back to riding my bike whenever I want again, until we get the caravan, of course, and then uh, Sprocket and I will be uh, venturing out on our travels. Obviously, I'll still be riding my bike. Uh, just give yourself a minute YouTube while I concentrate. Well, I've come to put my uh, favourite leather jacket on today and the bloody zip's gone. I've had it uh, 12 years. Proper decent jacket and all. I proper like it. Try him. I'm, I'll have to see if I can get a zip put in. But uh, I have put a bit of beef on, which I think most people have during lockdown. Maybe that's something to do with it. So... Um, just hang on a minute. <laughs> new tyre, new tyre. So I don't know if I'll uh, be able to get a, a zip put in or not. Ducks. We'll see. If not, it's going to be some new clothing. Sprocket said I need to get some new clothing. That's what we're talking about. Sprocket said I need to get some new clothing because it beef I've put on, but I'm hopefully going to try and lose a bit and... Uh, get back in my gear but I might uh, treat myself to some uh, it's always handy to have a bigger jacket in it you know for colder, colder days uh, and you get a bit more on plus me to get and I'll be uh, rocking I haven't touched the Africa twin since we parted company but it's in uh, rideable condition 
nothing, you know, it can go, you know, there's no, uh, no, not working, just the engine guard's a bit battered, and the, uh, and the guard took a bit of a tubbing, the uh, bark buster, which I, th I think, just how coming out then had a delivery, and I think bark buster plastic has arrived, and that's all wrong, no wrong with backbone, it was just a plastic, it all scratched, it was all right, but I just didn't want to scratch that guard on my back. So between the uh, thank God and the uh, engine protectors, they save the day. So maybe I will get the uh, demo on. Oh, we're meeting at 12 or 4 minutes to get over to Belmont. Did it go Belmont? I don't, see, I don't know the area. Bloody wet. James knows this road. Last time we come over, he went, he went back a bit spirited. <laughs> I'll see if I can tag on his shirt tails again today with a little 250. He'll be on his 750. I think you were thinking about uh, having a change yourself. I think uh, Derek will be on. Well, Derek is on BMW. He set off early, he's coming up from Coventry. Long way to come for a brew, but uh says he likes it. I think it's a company he likes. <laughs> Perhaps on the ride, but the bloody motorway, isn't it? He's stuck on that bloody motorway for an hour or so, it's not good. Not good for your brain. I mean, last, last that, my last ride out Newlands when I went up motorway to Newlands. I wonder that again. If I went up next time, I'd got twisties to win, you know, up to uh, maybe jump up motorway, motorway near near bridge. Kirby on the dale. I wouldn't do it all the way again. The roads aren't dry, guys. It's a bit damp, and I'm not going to gain much by uh, hurtling down them. Due to the cars in front, of course. And we've got quite a few. Sprocket's gone to pick grandchild up and walk her back to our house with you. Little Pippa. Lady P, as we call her. My ankle's doing all right. It's on the uh, brake side. Which I thought, thank God for that when I did it. You know. When I, when, I, when I hurt my ankle, I thought, oh my God, thank God it's a brake side, I can deal with that. You know, just anchor on up front brake. At least I can change gear. I know it's not the way to think. You <laughs> should be thinking of self... Uh, <laughs> survival and looking after yourself. But that's the first thing I think of. Oh, my left hand, my clutch. <laughs> Uh, and then you think, oh, your feet, my feet, my foot, my foot, oh, it's break, it's all right, I can, I can deal with that. <laughs> so I think I come off pretty all right there, because I've got a good, strong right hand for the, uh, for the break. <laughs> good, good left ankle for the gears. <laughs> oh, what a way to think. <laughs> Is that a motorcyclist mentality? And what do you do when you come up? Every time I come up, first thing you do is run to the back to try and pick it up. Why do you do that? I don't know. I don't know. But it seems to be universal. Although my mates, you know, when we've had a little off, we've all run to the back. First thing you do, pick back up. Give us a lift, give us a lift. How's your leg, how's your leg? Never mind my leg, get back up. Quite busy. Hey up, little 250. Where's he been?
Right then, let's see if we can uh, navigate my way. <laughs> Up the right drive. <laughs> Could have gone up there, could have. Is it this one in it? Is it this one? This is the one. This is the one well, that's the cafe at bottom, the other cafe. Uh, if there's no to here, we'll have to uh, pop down to that one. Take it easy up here because you don't know about cars running out, coming, you know, just coming straight, or a dog, or a child even running out from behind the car. Yeah, ankle's giving me a bit of jit now already. Never mind, come on. We're out. Back. Full tank. Well, I did have a full tank. You one more coming down the bloody motorway at 70. It just sit well up motorway, this. You know, for a little two. It'll cruise at 70 up with. Not a bother. And with a bit of planning you can uh, gain a bit of speed for overtakes. Now then, where's the guys? Are they here yet? Or am I the four? Are they there, James? That's James. Like there's only us three, three bikes. Eh ho. No Derek yet. <laughs> Are we all right? Oh, no, Derek, yet? Yeah, I thought. Have you got yours? Oh. Grand to get out, isn't it? Freaking new front tyre, look. Thought I'd be worried about coming over here, YouTube. I'm mocking you off. Give us a minute. Gordon. <laughs> I can't remember how to knock camera off. I can't remember how to knock camera off. Oh. Put the radio on now. Excuse me. Hey ho. Better than it were. Oh, they feel the all right in it. These boots are supporting it.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back on for a minute. We're going down to the bottom uh, barn due to uh, no cafe open up here. Derek's arrived, he's behind on his beamer. And James is in front on his Honda. On the NT750X, is it? Summit. The uh, first visor's up, so he's beginning with the wind noise, but we're only going down the road. It's only two minutes. Had a bit of a natter. Uh, they say there's nothing open up there at all, and in fact now the circle has been fully tarmacked and uh, there's no parking up there at all unless you're going to a wedding, so the uh, barking days in the centre there are finished, over and done with, no more, the end of an era, it's a shame really. Well, I say, it can't be one of my aunts, but it's a shame to see it's uh, spoiled. Due to stopping the bikes going into the uh, central area. Here we have a little mini forcing his way through. Had a nice little parking space for us at the top here. Lovely job, look. That'll do us. Got a table over there as well. Please wait to be seated. We've got to be wait to be seated. Hang on, Derek. Okay, YouTube. Recording.
Okay, go to YouTube, we're back on it. And uh, we've had a brew and a nice natter. And uh, we're on our way home. Nice weather. Uh, sat in sun there for a bit. Very nice. Derek's behind me and James is bringing up the rear. So we're going back over what I now know as Rivington Road. I did think it were uh, Belmont. But uh, James has uh, informed me that it is actually Rivington Road. And then we'll split up from the other side. Thought it was wrong road then. Wrong road. I was going up the wrong road, should I have said. It's a bit of a bad bend this, especially when there's a lot of cars there. Uh, I don't think we're going mad over here, James might do, but uh, with my recent activities and the road being a bit damp, probably take it a bit easier. We'll see. <laughs> Can't afford another off. Well, my body wise, grid. Derek's on the 850 BM. Nice bike. I've had a sit on it. It uh, feels comfy. He's got the uh, comfy seat on. Gel seat. Still a bit tall, that, right? but uh, feels alright, you know. Could manage it. Not a bother. And a couple of gears. And up to twisties. Bit better here because road drier. Well, it were. Just gives you that doubt in back of your mind, doesn't it? That car took it a bit wide there, didn't it? Derek's not happy with his lid. Letting in water, LS2. He said, which isn't good, is it? Really? And they've puddle here, I know there is. Yeah, very dumb. See potholes there. So this isn't, uh, I mentioned it before, it's not a road I really know. I 
I know there's a couple of short bends, but I just don't know where they are. A lot of water on the road. Very damp. Oh dear. Does well this little under. It feels a bit cool. I don't know if it is, but it feels a bit cool. Road narrows and a bit of a twister. And we're into Belmont. This jacket feels as if it's open. It's not. It's fastened, but I've only got a, a jumper on. Uh, and Derek said he felt a bit cold. He's got his heated grips on us, Derek. And uh, we'll be Derek and I turning left here, and I think James will go right. Give James a minute. Black dog in. See you later, James. <laughs> Terrible. I'll see you later. <laughs> Adios. That's James on his way, me and Derek this way, for the time being, and then uh, Derek will leave me at the uh, motorway, I would think. Nice and steady through here. I think that wind's getting up a bit and all. But uh, sun did come out while we were there, and it was uh, very nice and warm. Just good to get back out on bike. I'm uh, slowing it down a bit for uh, Derek to catch up. Here he is now. <laughs> Ah, you can see a bit of sun out there. Okay, cocky, isn't it? 50. Yeah, that wind definitely got up. I'm going to get blasted up more to her. It would, uh, there was no wind on the way here. You always look for that uh, extra gear on this bike. A lovely view. Cracking.
Yeah, no, uh, we were talking back there. Uh, went weather, well, went weather. I mean, we're in May now. Uh, went weather gets warmer. A bit of nice day. We're going to make uh, a day of a run out somewhere. Have a bit of a cracker. Hope this film's worked okay today. You just get out of it, don't you? We're not uh, riding and vlogging constantly. You just get out of it. When I got to um, Riven de Bon, I couldn't remember how to turn the camera off. <laughs> What's all that about? Yeah, it's just this cool, definitely cool. So a lot of it then, not wagging. The bloody chimney on it. I've seen that sign for that cafe before, it might uh, be with a run up there one day. Country cafe. So, I might uh, be gaining a helmet, apparently, if uh, Derek switches his helmet. I've never had a helmet with a peak on for the road. That'll be a whole new first. Now, there's nothing wrong with this one, of course. I think somebody's commented on me. Uh, helmet video I need to get onto that I am to uh, commented back uh, said he is uh, the helmet I've got on the shock Evo 1 2 he's has had trouble with it he's falling apart but I can honestly say hand on heart God knows how many miles I've done in this now and it's still in the condition it was the day I bought it nothing's dropped off broke frayed or anything, it's still in A1 condition. Uh, I mean, obviously, I had trouble shutting the helmet on the uh, on the goal, like, but you're not supposed to do that anyhow. Uh, the instructions state that, but uh, now I know what I've been doing wrong, I can even now, sh you know, no problem shutting it on the go. You just pull it down, shove the visor up, and then pull it down, it uh, goes straight down. Maybe it would have been better off putting my uh, fleece on that jacket, I don't know, it does feel cool. Bit of water on the road on that bend, I saw it splash off go. Yep, oh yes. And down into a third. Uh. 
Abbey Village. Abbey Village. Here in Hindley Boozer. Local Dutch Reserve. Very nice. Into a forte. Well, I thought it would have got a lot sunnier than what it is now. I thought it were in for a sunny night, but uh, still chances. This cloud, what, blue over there, look. If camera's picking it up. Just need to get shut this cloud. Almost at the motorway now. Dedical should go to the left. I'll be taking the right, of course. And that's him off on his way home. And that's me up onto the motorway. On my way home. And this is where I shall leave you ladies and gentlemen, thanks you once again to all the new subscribers, much appreciated for you joining the channel, hope you get something out of it, it's a very light hearted channel, enjoy any comments you make and I'll always get back to you, so all that remains to be said is, adios, adios YouTube, adios.